Welcome to the toy box. This is Trix. We were given a challenge a while back, a flashbang challenge, 10 consecutive flashbang games, and I've been having a lot of fun trying to get this. And uh, we're just gonna jump in and showcase some of it and show the road to trying to get this challenge done in time. And I feel like he saw me. Now, I know we're called toxic, Dude, but bad. I don't find this toxic at all. Yeah, we are I just, like I said, we play defense and we try to protect each other as much as possible. And yeah, for that. killers yeah, to sometimes yeah. act like we're being so bad are sometimes, it's I'm just kind of funny. Oh, darn. We should have known something was up with this wraith oh, from the second I he just kind of stopped and watched us. And unfortunately, he was having a lot of difficulty with me. I'm coming. And unfortunately, because he was having difficulty with me. He decided he just had enough. That seems to be my theme. Unfortunately, it's not a telephone booth, so I can't be Superman, but he's not my favorite, so I do like the Flash. Flash gang. Now, we have been having a lot of great matches. Is the killer near this gang? No. And of course, every time you throw out that flashbang, them killers do not appreciate it, so... still scared. Have to throw in that little bit of extra. Now, the best part about this is, is I missed the flashbang, but thankfully, my squad has been having my back lately a lot. So this right here is for you, Potato Ye. Amazing flashlight save. This Twins was a, a interesting match. She kept on trying to use Victor to her advantage. Now I will say this about Flashbang. You do need to be patient and the, the timing is right when they pick them up to the hip is when you want to drop that flashbang. And you don't have to be as close as you actually think. You know, this can't be a stuffy video without a little bit of looping. Now, playing the Wraith as killer has had me notice a lot of interesting things, especially when it comes to, like, trying to counter him, loop him, his weird little he does this snarling breathing as he's running around especially when he's cloaked now when he's coming out of the cloak it's almost like he holds his breath so you can kind of time it and he does slow down a lot so it does make for like I was talking about in my last video if you turn your your angle you can hear which side he's coming on you and which side he's trying to block you off and come from which does make it a lot easier to counter him like just because he goes invisible he actually ends up being a little bit louder when he's invisible which does kind of allow you the opportunity to attempt to counter him better plus if you're looking down at the ground more even when he's invisible he shows a mild shadow of where he is. Oh, I don't have it there. And I guess since I've been streaming, I have been slowly getting more and more vocal. And unfortunately, for some reason, it, it clipped itself out of the rest of my loop there. 
Now, I have to give all the credit in the world to my son. He has been playing with me a lot lately, and he's been joining the toy box and Team Stuffy and getting in there and getting so much better. Like, it's amazing how much more courage he has and how just bold he is with a lot of different things. And I guess he also knows, you know, with me as his backup, Now this also can't be a toy box edition without some great end game plays. Like I said, when that end game bar comes up, we just have a whole different level of focus. Now no, I didn't get the flashbang here, but like I said before, a lot of times when they see that, it makes them turn their head. Now with me being injured, I didn't want to go down, so I used it more as a deterrent so I can get the sabotage off. And yes, I went my own way on here just because we only had one healthy survivor and it's a lot easier for them to block two people than three. Um, I got it. Okay. Finally been finding invitations. Goodbye. And of course my son came in for there so I had to have his back. Run. <laughs> yes, that has become our theme now. <laughs> now, somebody had asked me if they could, if I could show off a couple of basic loop areas here. Um, this little street area right here has your most basic and safest loops when you when you drop that pallet. Um, the biggest thing you want to do is just make sure that your the path that you're choosing forces the killer to make a longer path. Like every time, as long as they make a longer choice, you will start having distance. And she was using her TVs great. So another classic team stuffy moment, breakout plays. Making sure we protect each other to the fullest. And I love this here because it's like we definitely gave this head this killer a headache. And she <laughs> sits there grabbing her head. And here's another basic loop area. Um, this house right here is a really good looping spot just for like how I said before. It forces the killer to have to go around or take the vault behind you which gives you some distance. And if you actually hug the building and loop back around, you can make another good round. But I like to be in open areas just because I've been trying out more techs and spins and things that I need the space to do. And this is for you, Azarak. Got the flashbang as you went down. Just great play. And we are going to end it with uh, this endgame collapse. And like I said, endgame time is our time. And just making sure we were patient because he was tier 3 at that point. And it wasn't infinite, so we were just kind of trying to wait out the time to make sure that we had a better, uh, better endgame. Now... Our fourth in here, Potato Yeet, has an amazing healing build that I will probably talk about in our next video. Yes, perfect timing. And as always, with the escape. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.